presence or divine providence even, that everything is answered in that presence. So it, it takes out the other. Uh, going back, I remember years ago I was driving through the Great Plains, I think, of the United States, and I don't know what I was doing or what I was listening on to on the, on the stereo or whatever, but I just had this dawning awareness. It was really kind of exciting that I had nothing to go back to at all. It was just like a gleeful experience, like, oh my gosh, there's, there's absolutely nothing to go back to. And I love the feel of that, and so much so that I just wanted to dive into that and live in that, so that, you know, even when I got into quantum physics and a lot of other things, I, I had that feeling of being so present that if I even seemed to be traveling in Europe and England or something and they started asking questions about the United States, it was as if it was gone. Like the United States was just a figment of my imagination. It wasn't really there. And it was that present, you know, that totally present. And I think what our lives are demonstrations of is, is just giving yourself total permission and allowance to to dive into that. It sounds like you're, it's a, it's a very joyful, relaxed experience. And it is only the belief somehow that we have to juggle between concepts of ourself that, that brings out stress. You know, there's this, the flight attendant self that is the wage earner and brings home the money for all kinds of other things. And then there's this really spontaneous self that's here with great allowance, allowing the day to just unfold and be given moment by moment. And I think that's part of the reason why people come and hear us and hang out with us, because we, we really go with the latter. <laughs> and, and we don't you know, really have anything to go back to. This, we don't have like day jobs <laughs> to go to. You know, it becomes your whole presence, your very being. And, and there is no other to it. And if there are plans to be made, we trust that they will just drop in and be given. Uh, I've even had that happen like two years in advance, as, as strange as that may seem, but from the spirit, where sure enough, I, sh I show up two years later at whatever conference I'm supposed to speak at in whatever country or whatever, it all works out, but I certainly don't hold it in mind. I don't you know, even think about it until it's right upon me. And then I go, oh, cool. You know, it's like, it's just like all the rest. It's not something that I actually give a lot of thought if to. the world was like a video game, and you really believed it was like an interactive video game, like you were a character, and you had to interact with seven other billion characters on this one planet, not all at once, and hopefully, and, but still, you know, it, it can seem difficult, challenging. People talk about, you know, they push my buttons or they rub me the wrong way or I, I just don't like to be around these kind of people, I'd rather be around those kind of people. All the preferences, likes, dislikes, opinions and so forth. And in that sense of an interactive video game, it's, it's, it's pretty complex. And you do find yourself having to navigate, really, to kind of plan you may have segments like a, like a vacation where you give yourself permission to, to do the freestyle, you know, and really feel, see how that feels. But then there's something to go back to where you really have to kind of navigate time and space. And the alternative really is what we call intuitive guidance. It just takes the interactivity out of it so that everything in your life comes intuitively and we'll say internally. It's just given. And it's come so effortlessly that there's, there's not a struggle with it, there's not uh, a planning, you don't have to weigh the pros and cons, it's just given. It could even be like uh, in psychology class years ago, they used to talk about these life stressors, you know, you know, losing a partner, losing a job, moving to another location, uh, you know, getting married, getting divorced, they, they would list all of these events that are kind of called the life stressors. You know, sometimes people, have, have, I've been told, spend their whole life uh, planning in their minds a wedding. 
hoping their wedding day comes, and then when it comes, it's super stressful, because they've kind of been aiming for it to, for their whole life, and put all this attention onto one day. It's got to be the perfect day, and it's highly stressful. And you could do that, you could say that about anything, really. But what we're talking about is just becoming so intuitive that it's just given. Imagine any kind of event, whether it's a, a marriage, or a divorce, or, or taking a job, leaving a job, moving, staying put, whatever would come, would just come very effortlessly, just be given. And then it just extends through you, and you feel one with it, and it's just effortless and easy in that way. You don't have to like, take a vote on it. Uh, you don't have to say to somebody, let me run this by you and see if you agree with me. It's not really a matter of agreement or non-agreement, it's just givenness. And it makes everything very, 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 very simple.